Hey folks, it's Frithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Farming Simulator 17 here on Stappenback. Now, I had a look yesterday for something in here and I looked up through and could I find it? No, I could not. It was nowhere to be seen. But apparently if you look in here, um, it's right there. That's the one that I want. It's this one here. This is by far my favourite grab. You can choose a colour for it as well, which I didn't actually realise. I mean, I do like the yellow and black because of the yellow and black stripes on the top. It does seem to fit quite nicely, but I've taken to using some different colours lately. So we're going to try that one right there. We're going to buy this one just like that. And there we go. Let's go and take a look at it. Nice. Okay, I quite like this. I've got hiccups again now. I always get hiccups. It's because I drink my... Um, I, I have a lot of coffee. I drink a lot of coffee. And I think it's cause, just because I drink my coffee too fast. And then probably talk too much. Um, although, you know, not talking is not necessarily a good thing for a YouTuber. Um, so, yeah, maybe I'm not talking too much. Maybe, maybe that's not the issue at all. But anyway... I like this. This is actually a really good combination. The blue and then the yeah, especially as you got the stole name in yellow and black as well as the bars on the top in yellow and black. That does actually go quite nicely rather than the whole thing being yellow. This this does actually look quite I'm quite pleased with that. Yes. I think we've done something well. And I'm going to need a trailer in order to carry the logs that we're going to pick up. Now, we could just use a trailer that we got, the big yellow one, but I didn't really want to do that. I wanted to use a different trailer. We've got, we can use a forestry one if we wanted to, but again, don't really want to do that. No, what I'd like to do is I'd like to get one of these. Now, we could use that one there, but um, that's just like a flat one, and it does make life a little bit difficult trying to drag that one around. Um, I mean, to be honest, it's the same with all of these. All of these trailers, they all have in common the dead flat sides, and you can't sort of put up low sides on them. And that does make life a little bit more difficult for them. Uh, what have we got under miscellaneous? Have we got anything interesting in here that we know we don't? Um, we do have that Wopster thing. We need to have a look at that. It's to do with seasons, apparently. Everyone's been telling me it's to do with seasons, and I really should look at it. And I do believe you, and I, I, I'm, I'm also with you that I should really have a look at it, but I haven't got around to it yet. Uh, Modern Classics DLC. Does that? No, you can't lower the sides on that one, or I don't think you can. Uh... Well, I don't know. I was kind of thinking that I wanted, like, low sides that I could easily put something, but I don't want to have to tip it out either. So, no, we don't want those. I need a different trailer. It's all in the trailer. The trailer is the important part. We, I mean, ideally, if we could have a trailer that we can pull with a wheel loader, that's going to make life a lot easier. Although, yeah, again, it's not going to make much difference. I know what we'll do. I know what we'll do. Let's not worry about this. Let's not worry about it for a minute. What we can do is we can bring this one along and we can load it up onto the trailer that we've already got. We've got a tractor that can pull it. I just need to be able to get the tractor out so that it can get the trailer that we want to use. And then we've got to be able to move around and get the thing loaded as well. So we need to be able to get into there with our tractor. And that might be easier said than done. Hmm. Well, we might be able to get down around the side. We'll have a look at that. The cars can just stay there. I'm not too concerned about them. But can I get my tractor out around the... S oh, I think... Yes, I can. I can go around the top side, can't I? So we go in here. We jump into the tractor. We come on up, on up out. Now, I suppose really we should be doing this in winter. But I wanted to get a little bit of wood and stuff into the sawmill before we start doing any hardcore timber felling. Yes, we can. We can come in around here. So that's perfect. We want to come down there. And then we want to go and get our trailer on. And then once we've got the trailer loaded, we need to bring it back out here and find a way to put it so that it's going to be useful. Uh, hmm. Quite sure how I'm going to do this. I think probably the only way to do this is to bring the trailer out here and then just back it up the road there a bit. So we're going to have to test my reversing skills now. And it's, it's sort of easier and sort of not reversing with this tractor. It's, um, yeah, I'm still of two minds of this. I genuinely can't decide if it's easier or not with this tractor. And I think potentially it is because of the um, increased maneuverability that you've got. But at the same time, that increased maneuverability can sort of be a double-edged sword. And also, it does end up making it um, more difficult the next time you come along to do this because... We've sort of gotten used to being able to do it with the increased maneuverability. 
I'm going to bring that one round a bit more. There we go. Right, now if I can straighten up a bit. Like that. Oh, I was wondering why it wasn't turning properly, but it's because of the slope behind us. That's making a bit of a difference to it. So we'll bring that one back up round there. Yeah, see, it's not turning. It's not turning at all how it's supposed to turn at the moment. It's supposed to turn more the other way, but that's because of the slope there. So the dolly isn't turning the way it's supposed to turn. There, see, look at that. That do the trailer's not behaving as it should because the trailer's not sitting flat onto the ground because of the undulations of the ground here. And that's just making life a little bit more awkward for us. But I think we can get it in place. Let's stop right there. Before we do any more damage to anything or anybody, we will stop right there. And you probably noticed that I got this tree cut down as well, which I then stripped of branches. Uh, at the end of the last episode. There's one other thing I wanted to show you. We're going to pop up here. We're going to take a look and see if it still does it. It's a thing up here. And we chop down here. Yes. This is a thing with seasons. Right? You cut the tree down. And then you log out of the game. And you log back in again. And all of the branches. They basically it all resets to just standard. And it's just a thing that's in there. Now. Why are you stopped? Is it because of that? There's a stump there. It might be because of this one over here. I don't think so. I honestly... I, I've no idea. I, I mean... He doesn't really make much sense. He seems to be over too far anyway. It's like he's come up to this road sign and he can't turn because of the road sign. I really don't know. I genuinely have no clue on that one. So let's go to you. Now, do I load this... I'm, I'm going to try and load that one first. So we get, oh, that one's object too heavy. So we're going to be loading that one as well. I'll try and get both of these on. This is going to be the tricky bit. Okay, so with this one, the grab is actually, it's, um, whatever reason, is wired the opposite way round to what it should be. And so it, it kind of, the, it, the open and close go the opposite direction to what you'd normally expect open and close to be if you're using any, um, like, mapped button functions or anything like that. Uh, so just keep that in mind. It's um, it's a little bit difficult, but I mean once you've used it twice, it's um, you, you probably get used to it. Um, I don't know if this one is yet in the mod hub. Um, I'm pretty sure I've got a link for it for where I got it from. So I'll just include that one in the description, and then everything should be fine. This is by far my favourite uh, log handling mod um just because of the way that you can pick up all the logs i mean yes this bit here is a little bit of a nuisance sometimes where it doesn't like release the logs properly and there's not a lot you can do about that there is one way you can do it because you've got these straps that you can put on it right press l and it puts straps on and that actually loads all the branches onto the machine and holds them securely but if you do that while you're kind of moving stuff around it can sometimes force them out. But what it does, when you're trying to pick the logs up, occasionally they get stuck into the bottom bars of the grab. Which, yes, that is a bit of a nuisance. And you may say, well, why on earth is this your favourite? One reason this is my favourite one is because if you have a look at those grabs right there, see where they come down? You can pick up just about anything off the ground with this one. Whereas with the standard log grab, it's, it's almost impossible to pick something up off the ground. If I put that one like that and then I close it, I can pick logs up. I can even pick up small logs with this one. And that is the thing that for me absolutely makes this one. Ignore the rest of it. Ignore the actual property of this one that I like that for me makes this one the log grab to have. The log grab of all log grabs. There is no log grab that is finer than this one. Um, because of the other feature that it has that I really, really love. Now, I can just bring that one up like that. And you can get the spikes in underneath to a reasonable amount. Um, you close that one down. It pulls the logs in really well. It can dance and shake around a little bit. But I think you get that with a lot of log grabs anyway. Um, but no, it's the... Just lift that one up there like that. It's that. 
that strap right there. I can pick anything up with that strap there and you can go into a large pile of logs with the log grab open and have that strap and that is what will like you, you can pick everything up with that thing it's, it's absolutely wonderful it really is it makes such a massive difference to handling anything it really does and I'm gonna show you I'm gonna show you right here because I'm gonna go I'm gonna put this one right down to these logs down here we got we got several of them down here now and they're all on a slope these are going to be like really really awkward difficult ones to pick up so if i go like that and then i press l look at that it now picks them all up absolutely wonderful is that not absolutely wonderful i mean yes it may not be entirely realistic quite frankly i don't care Right? I absolutely don't care. If you want full realism, by all means, go and pick them all up one at a time. Very, very realistic. I've got no complaints with anybody doing that, but for goodness sake, don't shout at me because I don't like doing it. Because quite frankly, trying to mess around with logs in full realism in this game is one of the biggest headaches I consider. I consider it to be one of the biggest headaches this game can present you. I really, really don't like it. I absolutely detest it. It's so horrible and awkward and difficult to get everything right. And yeah, I, I never have any fun when it comes to handing logs. And whereas if I just use this log grab right here, I mean, yeah, you do get this whole issue with it not loading and unloading properly sometimes. I can live with that. Mostly it's when you're handling small logs. And generally, the best way to do that is because it because it's very very often it's logs that you yeah see it's like worked its way down through the bottom of the thing. Um, it's very often it's logs that you can pick up by hand anyway. Oh, well he says, not being able to pick it up by hand. Uh, let's get some of these onto the back of this trailer. I've only got two here that I want to bring as logs. I just wanted to move. Just a few of these by hand, or well, not by hand, but just like manually moving them and um, loading them properly onto a trailer and all the stuff like that. I just want to do a couple of them like this. And then any more trees like this. You know how I feel about trees like this. I really don't like them. I never get on with them. I don't enjoy it. It's not something that I find at all enjoyable with this game. And it generally just frustrates me. <laughs> really, really, really frustrates me. And so I, I do try to avoid doing it at all, if at all possible. So we can get rid of that little branch right there. And right, I got this one here, which is too heavy. So if I chop that one in half there, I should be able to then move those two around. Get you. Yep, I can pick you up and then bring you over onto the trailer now and drop you down over there. And that one, yep, that one can go up onto the trailer as well. Like that. There, if I put that one onto there like that, and then take that one off. I can pull that one. Oh, I'd like to be able to pull this one out. There we go. Right. See? And I can pick that one up, and I can drop that one down there, and stay on, stay on. Yes, excellent. Right. So then I can come over here and I can put that one onto there and I will undo that one. So as long as you keep one strap in place, it it will lock the branches in. And if I undo that one as well, it's just going to lower those down a little bit so that they are slightly more realistic. That would be better. And then we can put that one back in place and it's going to hold them in. And I'm going to put another one over here just to hold these in as well. Right. That's that bit done. And then I've got one more over here, which is this tree over this side. Oh, no, there's another branch down there. I need to deal with that one as well, don't I? And that one, yeah, slightly too heavy. So if I just get this one on, then we can run these up the road. We can... Now, how are we going to do this? We're going to put these into our new sawmill, a big sawmill. Rather than trying to sell these in the just the, like the, the log sell place, we're going to run these all the way up to the big sawmill. And still too heavy? Seriously? I thought I'd taken off enough. All right. There we go. Um, and then we can get that one kick-fired. Kick-fired. Kick kick-started. And 
uh, start loading up a load of stuff into that one and getting wood chips and board pallets and stuff out of it as well. I find that it's actually quite good if you can gather up like a load of branches like I mean ideally I like it like I did in uh, Sandy Bay. I just had a load of trees like really close by and dump them in as quickly as you can. With these types of trees here um, it's it is really awkward trying to carry them up the road. So I'm thinking that this one here, I'm going to leave it there and I'm actually going to come back with the big daddy grinder type thing and we're not going to bother putting it onto the back of this trailer. We'll come back, look at that tractor, st <laughs> stuck up in the air like that, that's brilliant. Um, yeah, what we'll do is we'll come back and if I, oh no, I need to go G so that it goes to the trailer. There we go, put all the straps on like that. We'll run this up the road and we'll put this one into the actual sawmill. And then once we've got this tree here into the sawmill, so all these logs are loaded in. It's, do I want to go this way? Actually, I think I should have gone the way that uh, I was heading. I don't think I wanted to turn off here. Um, once we get this one unloaded... Oh, no. Uh, hmm. This might end up being a mistake. Sort of. Oh, no, we might be able to do it. We might be able to do it. We definitely didn't want to come down here, though. That was that was definitely a mistake. Um, once we get this one unloaded and everything into... Do, which way do I want to go? I, I'm, I'm pretty sure I need to be going back up the road. Ah, I turned the wrong way. I need to turn around. So we're going to have to go down there, along there, up there, and then back. No, because we can't turn around that corner there. Um, this is going from bad to worse. Okay, we'll have to come down here, and we'll have to turn left, and we're going to try and find our way in across. This This, this is going to be interesting. This is going to be very interesting. Hopefully, we'll be able to get through there. I want to get this one tree in there, so we've got some timber in there. We want some timber value on the actual sawmill. The other one is going to be turned into wood chips, and that one's going to start um, powering it up as well. If there is a tree nearby, that would be very cool if we could use that. There may or may not be. Now, I'm hoping that I can get around this corner. Yes, I can. Just. Sort of. Yes. Perfect. Okay. No problems there whatsoever. We take this one over. And then if there's like a couple of trees that are nearby, we can put some of those, put some of that timber in as well. And there should be... I'm pretty sure that the sawmills are self-sufficient as um, in regards to wood chips. I don't think you have to worry about getting more additional wood chips later on in order to be able to make it all work. I think it, you just once you get some in there... It kind of just keeps powering itself with its own wood chips. Um, so we'll be able to find that one out because I'm going to do one tree's worth of wood chips. I'm not going to put any more in. I'm just going to keep putting in the ones from here. And then we'll have to see. Now, the other question is, do I need to bring the um, wheel loader over in order to get the logs in here? Because if I get an auto load log trailer... I can just dump the auto load straight in there, and then that, that'll be fine. But it's whether or not this is going to be able to... Will it unload? Sometimes they do. Sometimes the unload point is set high enough that it will unload for you. And they've decided that they don't want us to do that. They're going to be extremely difficult, and they're not going to allow it. Right, so we need to just chuck these in there like that. And this just loads up logs. That's all it is, is just a few logs in there. And you can see where the point is, because you can see where these branches are disappearing. It's just below the level of our trailer here, so it's not actually that far down. Yeah, only, only a little bit, really. But it's enough that it's not allowing us to just, like, bring it over. So it means I've got to get the wheel loader over here to unload the big log that we've got on here. Ooh, unless... Unless we use the principles of levers... We might be able to do this. I have been able to do this before. I have once or twice done this successfully. Moving a huge, great big log. So look, we bring that one over there. And then... you just got to kind of keep nudging and pushing. And you, you grab it a little bit. And then push it forward a bit more. It's doing it. It is... There we go. Look at that. Look, I'm, I'm actually levering this tree off. Don't drop the log, for goodness sake. Whatever you do, don't drop the log. We need this. <laughs> we really need this one. It's very important that we keep hold of that. Um, I need to. I need to bring it that way round there, and then. Oh no! Oh, no! 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 Don't! Ah! 
Okay, we've lost one. I got another one here. Oh, nice. Okay, that loaded up. We got 32,000 liters in there now. And I can bring that one back. And, ah, oh no, this one's all right. I haven't lost this one yet. If I take it that way, there we go. Right, now, nudge it. Oh, great. Okay, now I have lost it. I've, I've lost the only other log that I had, and this one is too heavy. We're going to have to saw this one up, which means that we're going to lose a load of sawdust on the ground. There is actually a way, a thing that you can do. If you go to Z, change sawdust level, uh, we can go there to sawdust dirt level 1. If you look at the very bottom on the top left-hand side, sawdust dirt level 1 at the bottom, 0, 3, 2. It's, it, normally it starts on 2, so medium. Uh, one is a lot less and then zero it turns it off completely so we're going to turn it off completely just for a moment and then we're going to just lower down and we're going to cut this one in half so it doesn't leave any sawdust behind here in the middle of the sawmill because uh, it's just going to end up causing a mess and I don't really want to do that there and take that one and then dump that one down there right so then we can go back to the sawdust thing I'll bring that one out a minute and I'll change the sawdust level back to two so there sawdust dirt level two and that uh, should be fine that's back to the level that I normally have it at okay 36,000 liters of logs from that one tree so we're going to bring this over here and I'm just going to stop that one there a minute because yeah the other one is the the um the sawdust that comes into the middle so we need another machine now if i got over here i got the sammy tractor stuck in a the shed there it's this one here that i want next so we go over to here and this is the machine that i really really love now there's two things that i want to do here you've got i think i can get both of them uh they're not both in here this one here works as a wood chipper and as a this one here, uh, mount on the truck tractor, best of the best. This machine breaks trunks into wood chips, and with a tree saw, you can cut down trees. This one here, um, one of these is the saw part, and one of these is the actual, I think this is the like just the chipper part, and then the saw as well, or the stump, so it does the stump grinding, the cutting, and the wood chipping, all three jobs. And I don't remember which way round they are. So I, I tend to get the whole thing and then join it all together. And I can never remember which way round you're supposed to have it. So I'm going to leave this one as the standard red this time. Because I don't think I've ever actually done that. And you buy this one as well. There, that's four and a half grand for that one. Like that. Right, now this is the tricky bit. You get that and you've got to get it loaded onto here. And I'm not entirely sure which way round it goes. Because this is like so thin that you can't see it unless you're sideways onto it. And you can't see it from the back either. So then there's one over there. Now it's got three sides. Like that. I got a feeling that you come at it from this side here. I can't remember now. I absolutely can't remember. Let's get it onto this tractor a minute and then we can see which way around it's got to be. And you, if you tip it over, uh, it's practically impossible to get the thing fitted. So you, my advice would be, if you do tip the thing over, um, sell it, buy it again, and then have another go. Because uh, you're going to really struggle otherwise. Now, I think I bring this one in here. I don't think they're the right way round. I think you bring this one in and hook it on like that. And then we drive right round. We ignore the string. We go all the way around like this. And then we hook it on from this direction because going the other direction, because this is the one that's got like the, the extra bit on it. Uh, lower it down like that and then bring it forward into the wood chipper like that. I think is this way round. Just go steady into it. Okay. I've not had a hitch symbol come up so maybe that is the wrong way round in which case we'll go back round the other way maybe they're actually designed to like drop down the correct way and then makes it easy that would make sense it might be that you got to go from one of the other nope hang on a minute that's moving it i don't know if it's even supposed to move it i thought you had to lower it down in order to get it to fit 
Oh, well, that's not... Nope. Not that way. And it wasn't the other way either. Maybe I needed to be... Maybe I've got to go from one of these sides. Maybe it's a long ways on type job. I didn't think it was long ways on. Uh, now I'm just confused. There doesn't seem to be any particular method to this. You just got to keep approaching. Right, that's getting stuck on something there, which I don't like. So I'm going to lower it down. Nope, that's... Whoa, whoa, uh... Right, that lifted it up into the air, and now it's done something really weird. So I'm going to sell it, and I'm going to try again. Uh, <laughs> I told you I struggled with this thing. I abs Every time, every single time I buy this thing, I always struggle to find which way round it's supposed to go. So let's go back into there, and we go to that one, and then we can buy it again, and we can go there, and then we got it again. Right, back, back, there. So this time, let's, let's leave it down... On the ground, like that, and yeah, so I want to come from the back end this time. I'm going to lift this one up in the air, and I'm going to come from this way, because when we came from the other way, it kind of looked like there was like a big thing stuck out the back. So maybe this is the direction it's supposed to go. Uh, no. Something happening there. What about if I lower it down at this point? Okay, now I'm just really confused. Right, I can get that one to work. I've just bought two more, and they both sunk through the floor over here. It's going from bad to worse. Oh, uh, well, there's something there. And I got this thing unfolded. I thought maybe that would help, but that hasn't done anything either. So unfolding doesn't seem to do anything... I genuinely had this working previously, right? Once upon a time, I managed to get this all loaded together, and it worked, and it did just fine, and now it's not working, and I don't like it, and I'm all confused, and I don't like it at all, and it's not fair. Um, and I'm also wondering what on earth I'm supposed to do about this. Be I mean, I don't really need to get the thing, I suppose, because, I mean, I, I want to get wood chips, and this is the best way to get wood chips but I think this one here is the saw bit all right let's let's just leave it for a minute we'll see what we can do with just the wood chipper itself and nothing else rather than loading on the stump cutter I did manage to do it in the Estancia Lepacho video so if anybody wants to go back and try and find the one where I joined the two together and figure out which is which uh, by all means, I'm, I'm more than happy for you to do that, but uh, I haven't got a clue which video that is on, so that could have been um, quite some time ago. Now, there is something that you can do here. So this, we don't have the stump cutter now, I don't think. Um, let's start this up. Yeah, that's shredded the wood chips. So let's cut the entire tree, and it's not going to have done the... Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's the stump cutter bit. The other bit that I had is the um, is the stump cutter and possibly the saw as well. I think this one here is just the chipper compartment. So it won't... Yeah, it's not even considering cutting the stump. I mean, we don't actually need it to cut the stumps. The one thing about this is that it will load up a whole tree and then some besides right you can put in into this one uh probably about a tree and a half in it'll hold it all you can see there wood chips um 74 percent currently and that's from the entire tree being loaded into this one and that's one thing i do like about it is that you can put all of that in and i do tend to like this is one thing i do go completely outside the bounds of realism in my time lapse series um, yes, as well as the auto load trailers. Um, but no, I'll load up a load of wood chips into this one. I'll load the trailer and load this one up as well. And then empty the trailer and this one then into the trailer and just sort of do the two. And just say this one's got a big storage tank. It's bigger than it looks. And it'll carry like a couple of trailer loads. So if you're using the smaller trailers, I mean, like the, the little blue, um, the, the green agri-liner type ones. Um, and it will take quite a bit. 
Now, if we've got an unload point, it'll do it. If we don't, it won't. Sometimes it does and sometimes it doesn't. Sometimes you do actually have to have a trailer in order for this to work. Uh, if I do that... Right, it's not having it at all. Okay. Looks like we've got to have a trailer over here and tip into a trailer. So we will go and we will find a trailer. What are we going to use? I suppose really we're going to have to use this one because we're running out of cash. And... Oops. Okay, let's leave. Actually, I'm just going to leave that one there because we'll want this one for the pallets later on. So it's going to be the perfect machine for the job. We need to go back and get our other tractor. Now, another word of advice. If you've got a, an autoload trailer that will take big pallets like that one over there does, don't autoload off the platforms on most placeable things in the game as well as like wool pallets and stuff like that. It'll very often... Um, stop the game. I know some people said they don't have an issue with that, but a lot of maps it um, it won't hang your whole game up, but all it does is the game still thinks there's a pallet there, and you've got to exit the game and then log back in again in order for it to kind of reset that bit. It's a bit of a nuisance, especially if you've got a lot of pallets that you want to shift, so uh, my recommendation is don't do that. Move them off of that area with any kind of machine. It doesn't really matter what machine you use, um, you can just shove them off with a tractor, I've found, and that will work. Um, or get a loader and just move them off of there. And then, once you've moved them into some kind of separate storage spot, then you can move them around, you can load them up with the auto load without any uh, issues coming up. But I have had problems with it in the past where it's not unloaded properly, or it's, it's kind of stopped the production of pallets. Because it still thinks that there's a 100% pallet on there because you haven't like physically moved it. You've used the auto load instead. And it kind of just causes this little bit of a blip with the game. Uh, so just a little word of warning there. And it might happen, it might not. It doesn't always, it does sometimes. I'll right, bring this one back over here. You know, I probably don't want to take this trailer. I'd probably be better off just taking a small trailer and using that one. And then, actually I'm going to do that. Because if I take a small trailer, I can sell it straight from the point down there. And then I don't have to worry about bringing the trailer back again. Because I might be glad of this tractor down that end for a little while. Because there's other things that I'm going to be wanting to do very soon. That are going to involve this tractor staying where it is and me using other vehicles. So let's go into here a second. And we will get a tipping trailer. That one there. And we... You know what? We could try using a mod. Now, this is one that... I love this Marshall trailer. I really do. I love that trailer. It's a really nice little trailer and it works really well. But no, I want to try this one because I've not actually tried this. Modern Classics DLC, this one's from. So design... Yeah, we'll stick with the same designs right there. 21,500. Okay. And what's the capacity? 30,000 litres of grain. It's actually quite a big trailer. This is almost the same size as the one that we've got back in the yard. We don't need anything this big, to be honest. We don't need it anywhere near this big, but um, this is the one that we're going to use. So we'll drag this one up the road. We are actually going to need to get the JCB up there as well pretty soon because of the wood chips, and we're going to need to be moving them around. Um, yeah, yes, and also we might want to try and dump another tree in there as well. If we can cut a whole tree down, that would also be very good, but I'm not quite sure how easy it's going to be to get the tree into the yard. I like that we've got a tree-lined avenue down here, but if you're doing just a little tip for people who, because I know there's a lot of you that like to um, make time lapses now, when you've got a road like that, that you find you're using a lot, you do have to move the camera out to the side in order to be able to travel up through it. So one of the things I do fairly early on is I, any road I'm using a lot, I clear trees from both sides so that I can have different angles of the camera as I travel along. Now I know I talk about this a lot. I do talk about the time lapses quite a bit. Um, but I know that it's also one of the biggest things on this channel. A lot of you really genuinely love the time lapses and you think that they're absolutely wonderful. Um, and that's awesome. I think it's absolutely amazing. So, uh, you know, I do talk about them quite a bit. But I also know that there's several of you that watch these series, the, the, the Ordinary Let's Plays, that have no interest in the time lapse whatsoever because you're not particularly interested in watching it all sped up. You don't like the music and so on and so forth. And 
yeah, so I, I try not to talk about it too much, but at the same time, there is a lot of people that really do love the time lapses and like to hear insight in and little tips about it as we go along, because um, it's quite a thing, you know, a lot of people are making time lapses because of my time lapses that I make, and I find it absolutely amazing that so many people are making them purely because they want to be just like mine. And, yeah, it's, uh, not really sure how to react to it, to be honest, most of the time. I'm really not. It's just a state of constant confusion as to why mine are so much better. Why people consider mine to be so much better than others. I'm not going to say they are, but why people consider them. Because I watch some of the others, and I can't really see a lot of difference between them, to be honest. Um, I sort of watch mine compared to some of the others, and I think, well, you know, I basically, I was here first, and... So I, um, I put the idea that I, I was looking for these videos to watch and nobody had them. It doesn't look like I can tip out here, so maybe I've got to tip out. I would have thought this would be the point that you tip the wood chips out, though. Why would you not put the wood chips here? I mean, it says right there. Hang on. Go around. Um, so, yeah, I basically just made them because there weren't any there being made at the time. And I thought, well, if I want to watch them, maybe someone else will. So I'll make some more. That looks like where the wood chips would come out. Surely that would be the point where the wood chips would come out. And then this over here would be the point where the wood chips would go in. That would make sense, wouldn't it? When you go inside, it makes sense as well, because you've got this thing here, which is kind of saying fuel, and then the saw, and... Well, I don't really know. Um, it's not allowing me to do anything with it. I mean, if I force tip here a minute... What's that going to do? Right, well, that's, force tipping has actually put some... Yes, that is the right place. Force tip is put 1600 into the fuels side. That's what I wanted. So I need to force tip into here. It won't just allow me to do ordinary. So we do that. Like that. And then you'll see that the, the wood chipper there is actually unloading as well. That's dumping everything into it. And that's going to start... Actually, I'm not sure if that's... Is that loading into the... It's not loading into the fuels bit. So we want to lower this one back down again. And then sometimes it'll go straight into the fuels bit, and sometimes it'll go back into... The, no, it's going into the trailer. Yeah. It's a, it's a difficult one to tell sometimes with this, is whether it's going into the trailer or not. Now, if I go into you over here, this one is... Well, it's actually now emptied. Emptied out completely. Sammy Fortis. And then I can go back into here, and I can force tip these again. All of that come out. So we've got about 8,000 litres in there not allowing me to tip any more in. Why not? Oh, there's not enough room. Let's go forward a bit. This is actually working like the silage clamps do. Okay, we've got that bit out of the way there. We've now got 40,000 litres of fuel and we've got 36,000 litres of logs and production is underway. So they go down through here, they go through the saw bench down there and go whoosh off to the end. This is actually a lot longer. You know you've got the one that you can go and buy, the placeable sawmill, which does exactly the same. It's got a nice animation on it. It's not excessive, so it's not going to, like, choke up your game or anything. But it does have enough. And then when it gets to a certain percentage, the, um, the layer starts climbing higher and higher and higher on this one until it uh, fills up a pallet. And then it'll start working on the second pallet, and then you can bring them out, and you can unload them, you can move them around. So you've got a nice shed here, storage shed. You can stack a few of them up in there, and then you can sell a whole load of them together at once. We're not going to sell a whole load of them together at once. What we're going to do is we're going to lift that one up there. I'm going to raise it up, fold it up, and I'm going to just stuff this one over here for a second. Uh, I'm not going to worry about that one anymore. And then I'm going to come over to this one, and... Again, I'm not going to worry about it. I'm going to get rid of this trailer completely, I think. Do I want to? Yes, I do, because there's one, only one other thing I really want to do. So I'm going to go into here, and I'm going to go to the garage, and I'm going to sell this trailer. Where is it? Where is this trailer? Got to be. Oh, there it is. Right, we will sell that trailer there, 
get our 21,000 back because we're going to be glad of the money. And then you, sir, can move back over here out of the way. Can you fit under there? Ooh. Just. Right. He will go back under there out of the way so he's not going to be bothering us at all. And then we can go over here to this one. We've got one more tree. Tree branch, I should say in the road which is down here and I could actually bring that one along with us if I go over here because if you put like a pile of stuff on the floor it doesn't seem to stop traffic as far as I know uh, I didn't quite want to do that I know what I'll do if I lower that down and lower that bring that one back like that there I want to take this one with me we can get this one down at the sawmill and we're going to try one more thing before we go. There's one last task that I wish to undertake. So I'm going to just put the strap onto there to hold that one in place. And then we're away. As yeah, see, if you wanted to have it on this side, it gets really difficult having the trees constantly going in the way. In the middle of winter, it's not so bad. And also autumn's not, you know, out of the way. But, yeah, it can get quite awkward trying to get the camera lined up right and seeing what's coming up ahead of you as well. It does make life difficult. So, if you're doing time lapse, I strongly recommend removing trees from near roads. It just makes your life a lot easier. It really does. Okay, we'll dump that there. So, what I wanted to try doing was seeing if I could get a whole tree from here and straight in there and I'm gonna take this tree down here because I figure this one might be in the way I'd like to come from that direction now what's in here actually what is this place this is a whole different place there's like other things whole stamp logs 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 do we sell them here I'm assuming that we sell. I, I'm assuming that we can bring logs in and we can sell them here uh, oh hang on Empty pallets, four pieces. Bretta palatin, 25 pieces. Reese. Ah, this makes empty pallets. But why do I want to make empty pallets? Somebody explain this to me in the comment section because I don't understand why I need to make empty pallets. I don't I don't get that bit. A bit. I'm a little bit confused by. Why do I need to make empty... Do I need to make empty pallets? I don't think I need to make empty pallets for that. So what do I need the empty... What are the empty pallets going to do? How are they going to benefit me in any way, shape or form? Okay, let's chop that one down. I'm not going to do anything else to this one whatsoever. I'm just going to chop it right here. And then I'm hoping I can use my awesome, wonderful JCB. Grab hold of this tree and drag the tree in there. I've done this before, although I think last time... the what Seriously? You can see I'm working. You can see the tree is cut down. And you can see I'm approaching it with a... You're one of those car drivers again, aren't you? You're, you're, you're one of those people. I'm, I've, I've had it up to here with those people. I really have. You get an... Get the strap on there. See, the strap also stops the tree from twisting very much. Should stop it from twisting at all, to be honest. It does dance a bit. You will sometimes find it'll dance. And if you pick up loads of stuff, um, that can lead to a bit of a problem. Because it'll dance around and move and shift. Yeah, I've just taken the strap off again so that it can actually move a bit. But yeah, I've had it like really dance around when I've had the straps on there. There we go. Load that one in like that. I've had it really, really dance around like crazy. And... Um, it really starts flying all over the place. And then if you release the straps then, you can catapult the logs across the entire map. Which is slightly insane. And probably not the best way to go about things. Now the great thing, I don't know about this particular map, but the great thing about the placeable sawmill is that if you drop a tree down and there is enough room for it to go in, it will just sit on top of here. So you can put a huge great big pile of logs on top of here and then ignore them, completely ignore them, and they'll it'll continue to just keep working and working, and as the um, level goes down, it'll slowly use up all the branches as well and put those in. Uh, so you can put far more trees there than you actually need to fill, and it'll just keep going with it. It's brilliant. It's absolutely awesome, that aspect of it. Now, let me just stop that one, because that is all we've got time for today. So if you've enjoyed the episode, then please head down below and give us a like, and if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. 
in our next video, which will be next week at this uh, rate, uh, I was going to say at this rate, but no, this is just going to be next week. Oh, we're at the back of our farm. Um, I'm thinking of going up the road just to this piece here, right there. Let's go and have a look. Um, I'm going to come up the road to here, and I was going to cut down some of these trees. So this is just a short jaunt up the road. I don't care for these trees here. I, I, I don't really care what they're doing, but um, we've got a bit of mixed woodland here. And that's going to make life a little bit more tricky for us because I don't like all of these. Th those are in the way. And what, re what we want to get is the, the conifers. If we can get these conifers here, we want to get in with the Ponzi Scorpion and take out the conifers and take them off down the road. But we've got these big old trees right in the way, so we might have to do something with those first. Um, we may have to do the whole wood chipping thing. I mean, actually... Just one. If we were to chop that one and wood chip it, we'd probably be all right. Anyway, we'll deal with that next week. So until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye, and see you later.